we live. Guys, what up? Welcome to Deviant Poetry Writer Showcase number 26. I'm very happy to be reading poems for you guys again, and I've got a special one written by me at the very end of this episode for someone who's not having a great time right now. I hope that they get a chance to see this, but before all that, let's do our usual stuff. So we're starting off in my journal. I finally bothered to update it. Sorry, I've had a bad time this week, but I'm better now. <coughs> and uh, just to share with you some of the videos that I've been doing, I've got Corpse Party and three reaction videos, which my cousins wanted me to react to, so go check them out. Hopefully I did a fantastic job on the reactions. If not, leave a comment. And of course we have our writer showcase number 25 right here. Okay, so if you're ready to get started, we're gonna go into the poems. Okay, so uh, we've got about, uh, I think according to Sakura, we've got two prompt pieces to read for you. The first is... <clears throat> Okay, so the first is For You by Venus of the Rain. Let me just check out their page. Okay, so this is Danica Della Rosa. She's female from the Philippines. She's been a deviant for four months and she's done a total of 39 deviations. So come and check out her work. The link will be in the description below as per normal. Okay, here comes For You. Our pieces were scattered on the floor, even before our hands met each other, and our eyes knew how to look with our hearts. We were scavengers of peace. We were strangers to the light, in this deep well of defeat we dwelled. But we sought light most of all, and love in this earth. We smiled as we tore off our bandages. We fought despite our fears. Patterns of disappointments, I knelt weaker than ever. You felt alone this, in this world, I think you felt more alone in this world than ever, but I believe we can make it through. And God wants us to be stronger than ever. Our lives began when we let our souls be brave and reach out to each other's heart. And all things may look like they're falling apart, but they're really being rearranged. Falling in the right place, and when we see a ray of light in this journey of ours, our grasping for air would be for that ray of light, and we'll be happiest, and that light will be the happiest to have cast over our faces and bodies as well. Our pieces will be intertwined, and our love and smiles will build our home. Where the birds and other creatures are free to fly and roam, without worrying about hunters and trespassers, where the rain is most welcome. And the trees are going to dance with the pleasant wind, and the moon will behold our love, our radiant hope, and our courage to live. So that was For You by Venus of the Rain. Thank you for participating in our prompt. I don't know why my tongue messed that up, but good job. Okay, moving on, we have a dark prompt by Cat Servant. You've seen him in so many of my videos. Can I skip the intro this time? Nah, that'll be rude. Okay, this is Cat Servant, male from the United States, even for four years, 5,124 deviations. Come check him out, please. All right, and all of his work is very short, so it's easy to read. Okay, you ready? Chains of the past, rusting away, times never last more than one day. Chains of the past to leave us behind. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, um, Chains of the Past is something that I, that when I made the dark prompts I was thinking about, and it's like, ah, uh, no matter how far I go, I'm still chained by the past. But right. So here we have Lunar uh, Near Sight by Lunar Fixation. They're Lunar Fixation, male from the United States, even for one year, 17, devi <coughs> 17 deviations. Come and check them out. This is their poem, Near Sight. <coughs> Excuse me. Drowning in fantasy is too often preferable for breathing deep reality, treasuring the pleasure we find in the comfort of our warm beds, fleeing, stealing from the cold world, hiding from finality. We rarely remember the power of pleasure resides in our heads. And that was actually um, something that really resonates with me because we often hide from reality, and I know I do this on a regular basis, but sometimes we forget that the power to bring ourselves happiness resides in our heads, and we should really take account of that. 
Okay, so that was a fantastic piece by Lunar Fixation. Link is in the description. Check them out. Moving on to Dreams of Peace by Yesterday's Tears. Which would be an awesome band name, by the way. Yesterday's Tears. I like that. Okay, so this is the Prince of Penguins, female from the United States. Prince of Prinnies, it should be. Okay, Deviant for, <coughs> Deviant for two years. 85 deviations. Please come check them out. And we are going to read the poem. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Itchy throat. Water, water. Hey, you have to forgive me. I'm actually not coughing. It's just that I've got an itchy throat for some reason. Okay. Ready. We bloom to a world in deep slumber, silent under the heavy quilt of ash. I wonder if they dreamed of a time long ago, before the black dust filled their lungs. Maybe if we were quiet as well, we could hear them talk in their sleep. Whispers about that glow in the distance that shook the very ground and devoured the sky with an angry growl. How it might have been beautiful if it weren't for the fear creeping in their bellies. We bloom to a world finally at peace. I'll leave the interpretation to you readers, but that was a fantastic piece for me. I really liked it. That was Dreams of Peace by Yesterday's Tears. The author's name is so suitable as well. Like I said, it would make a fantastic band name. Alright, so moving on, we have Firebird by In the Space Between. These people all have really awesome band names. In the Space Between. That would be a cool, like, sort of punk band. It's not an insult, but I, I, I kind of feel like it'll be like Breaking Benjamin or something. Okay, this is Eileen, other from the United States, Steven for seven months with 75 deviations. Come and check them out. They probably have a lot for you to read. If you haven't checked them out yet, time to get started. <coughs> Link will be in the description below. Let's get started. Autumn has gone up in flames. Winter brings ashen remains. Fragile bird skeletons with white blazing feathers, they break easily in this brittle bone weather. I'm inhaling cold ashes that rattle my lungs, my ribs, my heart. And this phoenix is failing apart. Oh, and this phoenix is falling apart. But sometimes that is necessary. Yeah, and I actually increased the size because I thought it might be too small for you guys to see. So I'm actually going to give this a double reading. I'm going to read it again with the bigger size. Autumn has gone up in flames. Winter brings ashen remains. Fragile bird skeletons with white blazing feathers. They break easily in this brittle bone weather. I'm inhaling cold ashes that rattle my lungs, my ribs, my heart. And this phoenix is falling apart. But sometimes that is necessary. So that was Firebird by In the Space Between. Seriously, good band name, if it, is, if it was one. Um, and Fantastic Beast, please do go check out their page. The link is in the description below. Alright, moving on. We have The Stray by That Quiet Guy. So this is That Quiet Guy. His name is uh, Justin Clap Lloyd. He's 24, male from Canada. He's been a Deviant for five years with 543 deviations, so you really got to check him out. The link will be in the description below. Alright, so you're gonna get started now. This is That Stray. The Stray, sorry. I often slip away and hide myself from life, wandering so aimlessly in and out of sight. No light to guide the way, never anywhere for long. Never ever called The Stray, Strolling deeply shaded alleys, always somewhere in between, never fixed address, passing close though rarely noticed, the life of a wanderer is lonely, though not hopeless, focused like seclusion, I may be lost in my own world, but I hold no delusions. Now that was a fantastic piece, that was The Stray by That Quiet Guy, link will be in the description below, you really gotta check that out. When people write like pieces like this, it's... <sighs> I cannot write like this. I try, but I cannot. My style is completely different. So this kind of thing, I dig it. And you really should check it out. It's beautiful stuff. 
All right, so that was our last po poem for the day by uh, a poet that's not me, and <laughs> I've got one piece that I want to read for a friend. I know they're not having a great time right now, and um, I want to help them, but can't help someone until they take your hand. So that's why I titled this piece, Take My Hand. And if they have the chance to hear this, I hope that they will, because I'm ready to stand by them as they have stood by me. <clears throat> Gonna be using a slightly different accent for this one, because that's the way I wrote it. I'm straight. You've told me that you're in the dark place right now, and believe me, I know all about the dark. I know how it feels when everything is against you, when the things you want in life just get further away. You're doing the best you can to keep everyone happy, but it seems like six more things got dropped on your plate. You have no idea how you're supposed to solve all this, so you treat into a safe space inside your head. Believe me when I say I know that feeling, because it's something that I live with every single day. But that's why I know, and it's right for me to say, if you need me, I will be there. I will never leave you alone in the dark. If you drown, I'll bring you a hundred. If you're down, I'll bring you a hundred roses. But I probably have to steal them from the park. But suffice to say, whatever you might think, I'll be your float when you're about to sink. And even if you broke yourself into a million grains of sand, I would never stop trying to reach you while holding out my hand. After all, I said it before, right? I will always be your shield. Yeah, and I uh, changed a bit of the wording. So actually, this is this is the original draft. I've got another one on like the notepad, which is where I was, which is the one I was reading, and that's why that section is different. But otherwise, please enjoy it. Um, and thank you so much for uh, watching this video. As of course, thank you to all our poets for submitting your works in or allowing them to be read and shared. And as always, if you like what I do, please leave a comment, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It means the world to us, and it really helps us get out there. And it doesn't just help me, it helps every single one of who has ever been on these showcases. So guys, thank you so much, I will see you all next time. Okay, you gotta end the video now. Ending the video. Yeah, I'm ending, I'm not ending, don't worry, I'm just... I got absorbed reading my own stuff and I was thinking, yeah, I should edit that part so it doesn't. Anyway, ending the video.